Hello, very excited for this video. We are going, why I can't, I, I, using this new camera, this is my OG camera, like I used to love this setup and I don't remember how to zoom and unzoom. So I'm trying to do this intro and it's like a mugshot. Like why are we so tight? Why is this a passport photo? Hold please. I feel, I feel a little bit dumb, I figured it out. It's a manual one, this is fun. Anyways, we're going on a trip. We're going on a trip. I am so excited, bitch. I never understood the appeal of cabins. I always thought they were very brown and the furniture was ugly and it's like not bright white. You know what, I mean, I don't know if I'm the only one who's gone through that thought process before, but I never understood what was so cute about them. Like they gave me musty, dusty, not it. But recently, we started getting into cabins and I fully understand. I'm slow, but the appeal is nature and unplugging and getting away from the city, which now I have found great joy in. So I'm fully on board with the cabin situation. Henny and I are actually literally obsessed and we're doing a cabin trip. Our first family vacation, AKA first trip we're bringing Lua. Family vacay. Little do she know. We rented these crazy eggs. Oh, but thing. you'll see. I'm gonna say we got a need for speed, bitch. But anyways, we have a three hour car right ahead of us. But you can drive like an hour in some cases and you completely change like geographical climates. I try to figure out what the word for this is, but like one minute you're in the city. Here it's a desert. So it's like desert vibe, desert landscaping, yada, yada. You get it. And then an hour away, boom, forest. Like, the temperature is cooler. There's pine trees that are a million years old that are a million feet tall. Like it's a complete different ecological fuck. I don't know what the word is. I've been trying to figure out what the word is. Ecosystem. Give them a lesson, give them a lesson. The night the science guy. So there's like really tall trees and it's different from the cactus. Thanks for watching. Okay, we gotta pack up and go. Just say goodnight, Ango. Girl, we gonna be real late, huh? We think we're fancy wine connoisseurs because we took one trip to Total Wine, but like, we are. <laughs> okay, enough. Oh, no, you're enough trying not to, you're not trying, you're trying not to bring your luggage to the car. What did he say? Oh. First of all, you were always gonna bring the luggage to the car for me. That's first of all. Second of all, I'm trying to get some content, but apparently he doesn't want to hang out with you, so bully him in the comments, thank you. See you never, he doesn't want me to vlog. All right, I hope you have your hiking boots because we are going to the cabin. Look at how cute this cabin is. It fully fulfilled all my cabin fantasies. I mean, it's still the wilderness and there's spiders, but it's gorgeous. Ah, this is a foreshadow because shit is about to pop off. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that. We literally stopped the car in the middle of a random field and it was one of the best decisions I think we've ever made. It was peaceful and gorgeous and the Airbnb kind of came with other dogs low key, which at first I was about to complain, but it ended up being magical. Lua just tried to have sex right in front of her mom and dad. That's what you're opening up with? That's what happened. I guess so, yeah. Also, the Airbnb guy. He rubbed our steak for us. <laughs> that sounds no, so that, weird. That sounds weird. He <laughs> marinated the steak. He was like, yo, I used to be a chef. Bye bye bye. You want me to marinate one? No, no, no. One thing led to another. Oh, this is cool. Oh, it tastes amazing. You tasted it without me? Oh, it's so good. You're fing around, right? It's so fire. You did not. You're, I hate you. Like I said, we went to Total Wine and we think we're hot. Yeah, literally. Momo's friend is here. Should we let him in? Ugh, she's asking. That's her first boyfriend. She's, that's her boyfriend, and now she, he's asking to hang out with her. And he's sitting like a good boy. Of course you can hang out with your girlfriend. Come here. If I want to play like that, it's going to be outside. Degenerates. Paying no bills. Yeah, no job. Out all day, shitting in the floor. <laughs> Jenny 69 on this bitch. Oh, we'll see the two of bad bitch. We made ribeye. Whoa. Bada bing, bada boom. Mr. Worldwide. When I walk in the room. Mr. Worldwide. Who are you? Did I cut off my cheese, homie? 
Who the f are you? Was it a big ass fly? F off. Ah! Oh, I thought it was a beetle. 1800 square feet. They make 1800 square feet. Is this Fios. the same neighborhood? Yeah, this is Also, the, same. the fact that it's on the mountain. Um, I flipped the thing we were on today. It was so terrifying. I saw the whole thing in slow motion and I thought I was going to severely injure Henny in slow motion all the way down. So we crash and I freak out and I'm like, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? He's fine, but he's bloody in some areas. Um, but he is a king. And he kept it real calm and collected when I was in panic mode. And he was like, deep breathe, we're good. So thank God one of us can keep it calm and collected because I was a mess. A for flipping it, B for that. Also then he tried to show off on the way Yeah, back. the thing is we ended on the side, it hit me, so I'm like, bow. <laughs> and then she's just like up top, right? Because she's on the like driver's side. And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> And I was just looking at her, I was like, relax, babe. We, we flipped over, we fell. She's like, are you okay? I was like, yeah, just, just take your seatbelt off. Let's just get out of here. Like. It was traumatizing. But then on the way back, he's trying to show up. He's like, okay, watch me. Watch how I do it. Look oh, at no, my no, wheel. That's a different situation. <laughs> she was traumatized, so I wanted to come out. And I hate when like someone like hurts themselves, and then all the fun's got to stop, and then they're traumatized. And it's like, I'm never going to do this again. It's like, no, no, no. Let's do it again. Get a couple wins, and then you go home, and you feel like you can you go back. You ended on a high note. Yeah, so then I'm, we're going home. We're driving home, and there's some dirt roads. And I'm like, look, Lauren, you were trying to do 180s. The whole point is just to get the back spin in a little bit and get a little movement like this. Watch my hands. And I flipped that bitch and I lost control. And we almost flipped, ended up on a ditch. The homeowner comes out and she's, she's like, like, what are you she's doing? Like, what are you guys doing? Get out. I was like, I, I fucked up. I'm sorry. So, but, yeah. next then, time. Then I was like, fun's over. Let's get the shit back before I kill someone. And now we're making a, something random that Honey is concocting from the garden here. I peppers. I need peppers. Making a salsa. These tomatoes are from the garden. Basil's from the garden. It's all from the garden, girl. Ooh, okay. We are getting funky. Hello. I'm very excited for a new day. Okay, so as fun as like unplugging from technology and all that shit sounded at first, which still is great. Um, I did do like, you know, one day of doing glam and getting like some Instagram pics. I had to. I hate to be like that bitch that goes to the forest to do like this moment, but like, fuck it. Um, so I think I'm gonna go in front of this and try to get some some flex. Also, this is a car hat. It's Henny's and I'm into it, but I think I need some Von Dutch hats for my collection. Because that would be kind of a moment. Hey. What's the tea? Uh, just saying like how I came here to unplug, but like had one little sprinkle of an Instagram day. Did you tell him about the guy hitting us up because we flipped the thingy and we might have to buy it or like pay a ton of money? He texts Henny and goes, so when were you going to tell me what you did with this machine? Yeah, I was like, mom, what the fuck? <laughs> but no, it is pretty like scratched up. So we might have to buy it because we might have totaled it. Um, so please like this video because um, we need cash. No, just kidding. Back to reality, baby. Feels good to be home. That was great. That was like one of the best weekends I've ever had in my life. There was a good 48 hours that I didn't check my phone. Like at all. And then on the third day of Christmas, I wasn't in Stabati and I took like a whole no. photo shoot, but Lou was being dramatic because she's like moping around because she misses her boyfriend, but my favorite moment was the last night we went to a dive bar and we danced for like 30 seconds because there was live music playing, there was some country singer and I got him to dance with me for like six seconds and it was really fun because we were both laughing very genuinely, it was so cute. <laughs> okay, well that's it. That's literally it. Goodbye. Should I open another one of these frozen bananas? No. I always eat them. You'll eat them? You'll help me? Yeah, of course. I love them. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, I fully take back everything. I initially thought about cabins being brown and not fun. I love them. I want to do them for question mark vlogmas. I don't know if I should do like a little cabin series. Let me know. Also, this is my new hair. Do we like it? It's, uh, what did she describe it as? 
uh, Caribbean Brond. So leave a comment if you like this. I'll also post the pics on my Instagram because I know you like to show my hair as inspo to your hairstylist. Um, let me know a good place to go in a cabin. I heard Washington is good, like Washington State. I don't know. I don't know. See you in the comments. Bye. Love you.